It is the summer doldrums, but it's not. What are you looking for? How do you frame a setup to maybe a more active September in October? I think, you know, we, we have to get away from being driven just by the Fed taper story. Um, so, you know, the, 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 the other currents will take over. I, I'll be interested, almost what's happening outside the United States, uh, only in the sense that things change if other parts of the world start to see recovery. Um, if you started to get better data in Europe coming through relative to the States, that could change things a little bit. But But while we're bogged down with this idea of not even when does the Fed start to, to slow its asset purchases down, but what does that mean about when they're done and what does that mean about when rate rises come and they're not going to come till 2023. So, hey, what are we going to do in 2022? You know, we have to, we have to get past that, that whole story. But I think, you know, there's, there's geopolitics coming up. The, the COVID situation is, is, um, is either going to improve or, or it's going to become a real economic factor again. So that, that's not static. Um, and... Um, you know, the, the range of forecasts for Friday's payroll numbers mm -hmm. over on your side of the, of, of the pond is huge. Right. So well, we, we will get surprised by this. We, ha we don't have a handle on the pace of job creation, really. We just guess. Kit, taking a step back, it seems like the market is saying that the taper is a non-event. Is that what we're seeing, that basically Fed Chair Jay Powell has successfully made tapering the $120 billion of monthly bond purchases an entirely non-event for markets? It, it should be. I mean, in, in a sense... The whole idea of the taper was the, you know, the Fed slows down its asset purchases at the same time as the government spends less money uh, and the uh, uh, needs to issue fewer bonds. So who cares, right? Because <clears throat> what, what we've done is, we've, is the United States financed a pandemic with the government handing out checks paid for by issuing debt that was bought by the Fed. Just unwind the process. Just stop paying out checks and stop, stop buying the bonds and, and, then, and then we can get back to discussing important stuff, which is, did all these checks create savings? Did all these cre checks create demand? Did all these checks create inflation somewhere out there with all these bottlenecks and things like that? And, and I think that's what we're going to find out. But the focus is on, ca can, can the US government have spent this much money uh, getting the economy to recover this fast from the pandemic um, without, without some inflation that's stickier uh, than, uh, than, than the Fed's going to feel comfortable with. And we're, we're going to find that out over the next six months in a big way, 